Hey everyone, the name is Director, and today we're talking about the INTP's unconscious. And to be clear, the unconscious has nothing to do with the inferior function, as a lot of people tend to believe. The inferior function represents an active and daily stressor to the INTP personality type. INTPs are actually consciously aware of the fact that they are struggling to be popular, to fit in, to deal with people, to be liked by others. INTPs are actually quite aware of most of these things. They worry about it, they feel stressed about it, they struggle with it. So it's something they are consciously aware of and think about on a daily basis. We tend to remember and be most consciously aware of things that have strong emotional connections. So either we remember things that have strong positive associations of joy and happiness and energy and motivation, or we remember things that are very stressful or anxious or difficult or hard. So the INTP is going to experience the most unconscious pull between things that are neither of these things. And the things that are neither of those things are first, autopilot, and second, inspiration. The autopilot is when we do things that come naturally and effortlessly to us, things that take no energy, that give us no reward, no sense of motivation, no sense of pride or accomplishment. The, uh, the inspirational function represents things that are fascinating and interesting, but we have no control over it, we're not aware of it, we're barely aware that it exists, that it happens, or why it happens. So we're not really conscious of uh, our inspirational functions, and we're not really conscious of our autopilot. We're not really conscious of the role of the auxiliary in our personality type, and we're not really conscious of the role of our tertiary. The tertiary represents everything that we do that is easy, effortless, takes little energy. It's, for the INTP, best represented by the ISFP personality type. The ISFP personality type is uh, the INTP's unconscious autopilot. The ISFP represents the side of the INTP views on truth and what's right and wrong and on ethics. It represents the INTP's views on who they are, their purpose, where they come from, their history. It represents what they know, what they already have learned, what they already have gathered about something in the past. It represents as well what is spontaneous and what happens on a day-to-day -day basis. The INTP tends to just pass through most of these subjects without much conscious thought. It requires little effort for them to act spontaneously and to move in a situation with what happens, to just deal with whatever comes up. It requires little energy, it requires little motivation, it requires little stress, it requires little control on a personal level. Because of this, the autopilot is shallow and it's superficial and it's lazy and it's low energy. Everything we do with the autopilot requires so little effort, but also it is done so shallowly, so simplistically, so easily, and with such lack of energy that it is best described as poor or badly thought through or unknown or stupid. So the autopilot is why you do all those stupid daily day mistakes. Why you ended up basically uh, punching somebody in the face when you were talking about something because you got so energetic about it. Why you ended up uh, accidentally um, miss, uh, forgetting about what happened yesterday and why you ended up uh, missing something simple that you wrote down already on a list. It represents all those like lazy mistakes that people do. And people do tons of lazy mistakes every day. And the thing is, most of us tend to not be aware of these things. It's things we say without thinking. It's uh, just uh, gut reactions we have about things, feelings we have about things that just come up that we don't even recognize. So these things represent things that constantly cloud an INTP's judgment. Yes, the INTP is always at risk of having their judgment clouded by shallow ethical concerns and priorities. They can forget about how something feels, what is important, who they are. 
in the purpose of rational thought and experimentation and skill development and trial and error. They can just rush through something and miss out a lot of obvious things. More importantly, the INTP needs to look at the ENTJ personality type. Because the ENTJ personality type represents the INTP's higher self or dream self. So often it represents something an INTP will greatly, greatly idealize. The INTP holds a great idealization towards the ENTJ's skills and abilities and skill sets overall. The INTP aspires towards their level of ambition, their level of uh, project management, their level of uh, pattern reading and cross-contextualization and creativity. The INTP aspires towards the ENTJ's level of vision and clear-sightedness and speculation. So the INTP looks up to all these traits. But the INTP has a need for control over these fields. And it is that need of control that tends to keep the INTP from ever experiencing inspiration. And you know, what is inspiration? Inspiration is, you know, when you get so into something, you start forgetting what you're doing. You're so excited, you're so in it, you love it, you're having so much fun. It's so, you're so passionate about something that you forget where you are, what's happening around you, what's going on. Yet to the INTP, it feels like, wow, well, there are so many patterns, so many possibilities. Wow, everything seems to be leading up to that singular point. Wow, there seems to be so much possibility, so many rewards here that I could get from that. And I could make that from that and I could get that from that and I could change that to that. Wow, if I put all of those things together, I could make, yes, this is the inspiration state and in INTP and you know when these things are happening you're going very very deep into the shadow functions the thing is the crazy thing about this is we tend to forget it happened as soon as it's over inspiration is a very brief experience and as soon as we start thinking consciously about it we lose it as soon as we become like wait a second what am I doing here wait a second what is this wait a second what is that possibility where does that come from what does that mean when an INTP goes into this, that's when they lose their inspiration. That's when it goes away. It is replaced by the INTP's more natural state of introverted intuition and thinking and perceiving and introverted thinking and intuitive perceiving. So the INTP goes back to this. Uh, so what are these options? So what do they mean? What is happening? The desire to explain these things is exactly what keeps the INTP from experiencing and chasing for and gaining the rewards of these things. The reason why INTPs can't be ambitious or struggle so much to be ambitious is because of that thinking and perceiving desire to always know they are making the right choice in every situation. They can't just bring themselves to jump for and devote themselves fully to one singular ambition because what if there's a better ambition right over there? What if there's a smarter option right there that I'm missing? So what keeps the INTP from experiencing is inspiration and from diving into the unconscious is that desire to hold on. And it's also that you don't know. Like a lot of theories out there talk about developing the auxiliary. Tough. Really tough. And you know why it's so tough to use the auxiliary function? It's really tough because it requires you to let go. To tru truly gain the powers and skill sets of the auxiliary function, you have to be ready to truly let go of your need for control of these things and matters. You have to be able to jump into a vision, even knowing that there are options that could be better, even knowing there are alternatives that could be smarter. You have to let go and just trust this vision. Just trust that this ambition will lead you somewhere. So... What keeps us from truly going into the auxiliary? In part, it's also a fear of vulnerability. I believe a fear of vulnerability is the key reason why most people struggle to develop their auxiliary function. We want and we need control because we are afraid of making mistakes. That's the simple truth. We are constantly afraid of making mistakes. We're afraid of making mistakes, saying something stupid, jumping into the project, putting all our energy into something that will end up leading us nowhere. 
doing things that won't give us any meaningful reward. We're afraid that in inspiration we will lose track of reality and become some kind of intuitive thinking innovation maniac. That's the INTP's fear, you know, becoming some kind of intuitive thinking maniac who is completely uprooted from reality and from history and from what's happening around them. So the INTP tends to guard their consciousness very closely. The INTP seeks to stay conscious, seeks to maintain consciousness, seeks to do things consciously. That tends to be the normal. That seems to be the normal. And you know, the thing with the auxiliary function, with inspiration, that is so interesting, that is that after it's happened, we tend to feel very, very exposed. We go through a period of uh, flow slash inspiration and we really jump into something and we really get our hands into something and we start up a project and we start working really hard on it. And you know what happens? We stop and we become and we feel naked and exposed. What if I did something stupid? What if this opportunity I thought I was chasing was something stupid? What if it was uh, badly thought out? What if I don't understand these uh, possibilities, this data that I've gotten, that I've acquired? What if I have missed something? What if I made a mistake? So what gets us to snap out of inspiration, that is that fear of having made a mistake. So what happens is we go into our auxiliary and we go into these auxiliary phases. That tends to be the case for most personality types, you know, just really digging into it, just catching it, just using it. And um, then going, wait a second, what was I doing? Oh no, did I do that? Did I really say that? Did I really think that? What if people hated it? What if people thought I was stupid? What if people looked down on me for it? Okay, for INTP, it doesn't necessarily have to do with that, but it does have to do with that fear of being wrong. So, as you listen to this video about the INTP unconscious, what you need to, need to really be looking at is, uh, who am I? What are my values? What are my ethics? What is my history? Where do I come from? What I believe is everybody needs to have a good life script, you know, when you go into the autopilot, because it will happen, it will happen once in a while, you need to have a good life script, you need to have a good story. So as an INTP, something you need to be working on is the autopilot. And that means just getting a strong ISFP idea of who you are and what is your truth. If you have this strong idea, if you have these strong reflexes that you've trained and developed, you can use them in a day-to-day -day situation. You can make sure that you're going through life smartly. So if you can make sure that you've thought your ethics through, that you've thought out who you are, that you've developed a strong identity, these things will just naturally follow you in everything you do every day. It will just be a natural part of the INTP you that everybody sees and everybody ad admires. A poorly developed script, however, that can be really stupid. So what you're looking at when you're developing the unconscious is really developing your mindset. How do you see yourself? How do you see the world? The beliefs you have about yourself and what is logical and what you want and what you value will be most recognized in how you deal with and relate to life unconsciously. So it represents what is your perspective on life and on people and on tasks and on tools and on work? What is your opinion on yourself and, you know, life and death and why we're here and what we're doing? An INTP that can formulate a smart reason or a smart set of ethics that they can go to and work on unconsciously can really thrive in autopilot situations. But an INTP that has a very poorly developed set of ethics can end up running through life, being a complete idiot, saying things that are stupid, breaking laws, making mistakes, hurting people, upsetting people, uh, making the world a worse place. Because their ethics are not there and because they don't know themselves. 
these INTPs, they will take on work and will do things and choose situations that don't really relate to their purpose and why they're here, what they want their purpose to be. So with the unconscious, it always comes down to what do I believe about the world around me? What do I believe about the unconscious? The number one mistake a lot of people tend to make about the inspirational functions is they tend to make the assumption that these inspirational functions are stupid or impossible. Or we tend to say they're magic. How does an ENTJ do things? I don't know, it's magic. Or I don't know, it's impossible, it's not gonna work. So the, the INTP can either represent the biggest opponent an ENTJ will ever face in terms of that annoying guy that questions everything and sees flaws in everything I say and do. Or they can be that badass that seems to have thought everything through, that seems to know everything that's gonna happen, that seems to have full control of the situation and full grasp, full knowledge, full expertise of something very abstract and very complicated. The INTP can represent can truly misunderstand the ENTJ, including the ENTJ residing inside themselves. They can want too much control, they can want, they can be too afraid of stepping into their unconscious and allowing unconscious influence, and that can keep them from really getting their own life started. And what that means to you as an INTP, of course it means getting an ambition, getting a vision, getting drive, getting motivation, getting power, getting authority, and getting opportunities. That's what you have to be looking for. You should be striving towards your dream self, your ENTJ dream self. You should be developing a stronger, more healthy role to your unconscious and to your autopilot. If you do, your life will become better. Trust me. Thank you for watching this video. Visit patreon.com slash ericthor if you want to support me in making more videos. Leave a like, share and subscribe. And share it with people who you think deserve to hear it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.